the evolutionary urge. See, I'm a big fan of, I say it a lot because it's true. I'm a big fan of words. I like looking at words. I like defining words, working with them, playing with them. See, I believe that if I'm speaking a word and you're speaking that word, but we have different definitions of that word, we're not speaking about the same thing. So we're not really communicating. So I'm going to share my understanding of evolutionary urge. It is obviously to evolve. It is to advance, to make better, to improve. And that urge essentially comes into coming into greater wholeness, coming into the more true reality of who we really are as beings of love. And so that urge exists within each of us. I know it. One of the lines, the unbroken lines that we have deals with our family, what we may call ancestry. It is that line of parents, grandparents, great-grandparents. And for any of those that have children, you know the evolutionary urge of wanting to create a better life for your children than you had for yourself. Yes? Any parents can agree with that? Is that a true thing? I don't have kids, but I know it's true. Because I know that feeling just for the people in my world that I hold and that I care for. I want them to have an even better experience. I want the future to be even better than the one I experienced, than the one from before. We want everyone that we know that we influence and hold a, some sort of influence over to come into a greater experience of wholeness and being human and living in this world. And that is evolution. It is that continual moving forward. So I have an experience that I know personally from my family experience. My father, he grew up abused. He grew up with a father who was an alcoholic. And he had lots of physical abuse growing up. Beaten and name calling. Just many different ways of being pushed down and beaten down. And that affected him, as it would affect anyone. It gets in us. And if we're not conscious and aware, it then gets reproduced back out. And I remember a time as a young child when I got in trouble and that something of that started to come up. And my mom stepped in. She didn't have that. She wasn't raised like that. She was like, no, there will not be physical violence in this family. And so he did his work. He did his work, and he broke that pattern. And I can stand here and proudly say that I have never in my life exerted physical violence onto another living creature. I was free from having that carried on through me and into the world because he did his work. He cleared that pattern. And so we want to bring forth all that is good and transmute all that is not so that we can carry forth. And sure, there's things that weren't transmuted that I picked up, and I've had to do the work in myself to transmute that. Some abandonment issues, some aloofness, some absence. And I've seen through my life how that impacted other people in my life with me carrying that. And I've done my work. And I may not have kids right now to pass that on down the line, but that doesn't matter. My sisters have kids. They didn't have to carry on the violence. And when I do my work, vibrationally, I transmute all that I'm connected to in that line. And those kids won't have to do as much work around that because I was there doing the work in my patterns. And the same is true in any of our lineages. You know, obviously a religion, chosen family. Isn't a religion a chosen family? You choose to go into a religion, that's your chosen family that you're spending time with. The same is true in a community. You come into a community, this is your chosen family that you've chosen to be part of and commune with. And are there not patterns, communities, 
cultures, societies in the world, all of it's there. And yet we can tune into the pureness, the beauty that created it, recognizing, yeah, there's patterns. There's patterns that are passed on. And if I can become conscious of it, I can transmute it. I can create a new way of living. I can let the evolutionary urge move through me in my situation with whatever lines I'm connected with or choose to connect with and transmute that for the betterment of the next generation and the next generation. That's evolution. That's the urge to be better, 